Welcome to the Hydraulic Press channel. Today we are going to find out how strong are steel and aluminium pipes. And we have square pipes and rectangle shaped pipes. And we are going to test the rectangles on both directions. So we are going to find out how much difference is there like on this side and this side force. And the setup is the same as on our lumber video. We have two steel blocks, cross on the middle, and force sensor under to measure the force. And yeah, pretty straightforward. I think we are going to start from the smallest and work our way up to this. Yeah, so here we go. And this video is sponsored by Curiosity Stream. Curiosity Stream is a subscription based online streaming service, a bit like Netflix, but instead of uh, fiction shows and reality drama, it's full of interesting documentaries and other non-fiction titles. For example, if you are interested in this video, I thought that you would like also this documentary about samurai swords. It's really well made. It tells the story from start to finish, how the swords were made. And the like picture quality and production value is much better than on your typical YouTube channels. And since it's a subscription based service, there isn't any ads. And the best part when compared to other subscription based streaming services is the price. Because now if you go to curiositystream.com slash HPC and use promo code HPC, you will get 25% discount that makes the yearly subscription only $14.99. Yeah, and that's yearly, so it's only $1.25 per month. So click the link down below or go to curiositystream.com slash HPC and save 25% right now. And I'm going to measure the peak force. That's the result that we are comparing on different pipes. And I'm going to say that this is going to take 700 kilos. And my wife thinks only 300, so let's see. Okay, it's done. And the peak force, 1,150 kilos. Okay, and then first aluminium pipe. And first we are going to crush it on its weaker side and then lift it up. Okay, and the result is 2,400 kilos. That's pretty much. Okay, and then the stronger direction. And I'm going to say that it's twice as strong like this. Five tons. Uh. Yeah, that was interesting. We got like cracking action going on there. Then we have a bit larger but thinner aluminium profile. The result is 2,700. So point for me. Okay, and now we have thick steel tube. This is probably the heaviest piece today. And I'm going to say 10 tons. Da, 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 da. Pretty goddamn good. Okay, it's ready. I don't want to throw the blocks away. Hey, check this. 150 kilos over. I think I deserve almost two points from this. That was a, such a good guess. Okay, and then the, probably the strongest pipe. 
And now first on its side. Oh, that was pretty fast. Okay, I went in a bit too fast, but the result is 7 tons, 350 kilos. So my 8 tons is pretty good. And here we go. Now a bit slower. Ah! Okay. Okay, I have to admit that our uh, loading method is a bit wrong. I think the like, top surface of the pipe got damaged before the whole pipe would be damaged. So it didn't get all the benefits on being like this standing up. So the result is only about 1.5 or 1 ton more. And at this point I realized that we have to do also red hot as a comparison because if I don't do it, this is going to be the most popular comment. So we are going to do it now. So this is the 10 ton pipe and I'm going to heat it and it's red hot and then we are going to see how much it gets weaker. Okay, it was really hard to heat up there. I think we should have some kind of furnace to get it really hot. But even when it was like only like just barely reddish, we got still only five tons. So it already loses half of its strength at that point. So when it's red hot, it's at least twice as weak and probably way, way, way more weaker. Yeah, but if you want to see like proper version of this, please let us know and we get the furnace here and make sure that they are like white hot. Yeah, but that is all for today. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. And for today's extra content, we have really rare hole in the head rock. It's so bright colored that I think it's very poisonous, so we have to deal with it.